That actually went pretty good. We, we got a lot of great laughs and uh, there was some, you know, we, we expected laughs. You know, you never know when you're going to get laughs on a certain line and you're like, that's the funniest line in the movie. And, and you get a little, and then the next one you're like, that's not funny. You know, and it's, yeah, big yeah. laugh. But it's yeah. always interesting to see a movie with an audience because then the things that you think might be funny uh, aren't and some of the things. One night and then they are yeah. the next. It's a, it's a good meter for what you've done in front of a live crowd. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, we, we, we had a couple kind of semi-private screenings in Toronto, but this was like our first uh, real foray into the world. Simon wrote a short called The Business of Suicide, which was about a gawky, bespectacled geek, um, a mustachio, did I say that? A uh, geek who, uh, you know, it's on the last day of his life, he's going to kill himself at 3.11, like to the hour, you know, to the uh, one year after he doesn't get into this dance school, he's going to kill himself. So it's all the things that go wrong when you're trying to plan your suicide. And uh, so we made that in 2003, we produced it and just made it on a real low budget. And then we've since gone on to make two other short films after that together, um, uh, which have both been in TIFF, uh, The Canadian Shield and um, another one called The Waldo Cumberbund Story. I found it in a dumpster. <laughs> been thrown there by Tom Sizemore. Yeah. Uh, Gary Busey had his fingerprints on it for some reason. Yeah. I yeah. had it checked out at a lab. Cause I, Third choice after you know, Sizemore, yeah. Busey, and. Uh, yeah. I was the only logical choice. Was, uh, mm -hmm. I was on the list, he said, I got five days, guys. I got five days. I'll come That's in, it, you know. in and out. So, yeah. I was working on another film and I. Uh, in Canada, and I right? Fit it in. Yeah. Right there in Toronto. Actually, um, I was very flattered to get it because it was a great piece of writing and I don't usually get offered comedies and uh, it was a great experience for me to play a funny character and, and uh, you know, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing and I really put, put myself in these guys' hands and uh, he's carrying the picture and he's directing it and they uh, really backed me up and it was really, it turned out to be great and they were telling me the movie was great. And you hear that from the people that made it, you know, you don't know what to think. And I saw it myself last night, and, and I'm really glad that they uh, they offered it to me. <laughs>